These are the four suicide bombers ISIL says were behind the attacks. They drove cars packed with explosives into a hotel where government leaders have based their headquarters. This is the moment the hotel was hit. A compound used by soldiers from the United Arab Emirates was also targeted. I heard huge explosions and rushed to the area. I was told two armored vehicles drove through checkpoints and exploded inside the compound used by UAE soldiers. Earlier, government and coalition forces led by Saudi Arabia blamed the Houthi fighters and troops loyal to former President Ali Abdullah Saleh for the attacks. ISIL has emerged as a force in Yemen over the last year. In this video, posted on Sunday, its fighters are shown distributing pamphlets in Aden and fighting against the Houthis in different parts of the country. ISIL also claimed responsibility for a series of attacks that targeted Shia mosques like this one in the capital Sana'a last month. ISIL is expanding in areas formerly under the control of AQAP, also known as Al-Qaeda in the Arabian Peninsula. AQAP has recently suffered major setbacks, losing most of its top leaders in U.S. drone attacks. The attack in Aden isn't the first time that coalition forces in Yemen have been targeted. Last month, dozens of coalition soldiers were killed in a missile attack. It was the highest number of coalition forces killed in a single attack since the start of their military campaign in Yemen seven months ago. Many are now worried the attacks in Aden will further inflame the continuing war in Yemen. Hashem Ahbara Al Jazeera.